So how do you make a lot of money in Animal Crossing? And it's it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. So we're going to work through and we're going to kind of discuss and go over some things. Let's just begin things by saying you start off by fishing, collecting bells, and fossils. Those are probably your three biggest money makers. There's also turnips. We'll get to turnips a little bit later in the video, but right now I want to just concentrate on the fishing and the bugs and all that stuff. But let's just discuss right now these three things. The first thing is, is fish bugs and fossils you got to make a decision are you going to want to build up your museum or not if you want to build up your museum the first thing you should do is just donate the first bug fish fossil but there's only certain bugs and fish you're going to want to go after right the only you want to go after the money ones you want to go after the big ones beetles are big high dollar value and as are sharks so essentially you want to basically hunt these things between the hours of approximately 10 p.m. to about 5 a.m., somewhere in between there, you're going to want to go to the shoreline. The minute you start playing this game, you want to start planting palm trees along the beach. Anywhere there's beach land, you want to put palm trees in. But you want to space them enough so this way you're not getting yourself jammed up trying to catch bugs off of them. You want to basically keep them also deep enough back off so when you go fishing, you're not walking into the edge of the water in order to catch sharks. As you walk the shoreline back and forth, you want to walk across and you want to move very slowly. You don't want to move quickly across. And as you do, you will start to spot these big beetles on the palm trees. The beetles that are high volume, high dollar will not be in your regular town. They're not going to be sitting there up there on cedar trees and peach trees and all that. They're going to be down at the shore. You may want to get a friend. You may want to get a friend to basically run around in the upper part of your town and scare off unwanted bugs. Here's an example. If you have, let's say, five or six bugs that are up on the top trees, maybe a couple of crickets and stuff that are all b jumping around. That's less beetles that could be on the trees at the lower end. You will find it very difficult to find them if you keep running back and forth, because if you grab one, there might not be a spawn of another one for a while. So you want to try to keep, if there's no beetles on the trees down below, go up top, scare off all the beetles that you can, bugs, whatever it might be, go scare them off and then come back down to the shoreline and as you scare those off, they'll spawn and it goes through a cycle and you'll start to spawn more beetles along the shore. The golden stag, the Hercules beetle, the giant beetle, the elephant beetle, those are all very high dollar beetles. You want to get them, collect them, put them away, and then in the morning, sell them to the nooks. These are the easiest ways to make money. Sharks big high dollar value the easiest way to catch fish especially sharks sharks are very quick and if you don't time it right you can miss them and part of the problem is when you're trying to catch a shark you're paying attention you're hitting and then they hit real quick and go the easiest way to catch any fish especially sharks is close your eyes close your eyes and listen for the big sploosh and once you hit that you hit the a button and boom it'll pick up the fish the shark whatever you're trying to catch but that's what you want to do you want to concentrate on these things these are the animals you want to catch these are the bugs you want to catch you want to sell them you make a lot of money very quickly you're talking each one could value anywhere from 10 to 15 thousand bells that's big money that's big money. you could pay off loans very rapidly and that's huge okay so now here we are we're going to move on to turnips and turnips are also an opportunity to make a lot of money basically what happens is every sunday daisy may will show up in town and she'll be selling you turnips the idea is that daisy may will sell it each week at a variety of prices every week is going to be different they could sell them as low as you know 30 40 50 50 60 bells per turnip and then later on in the week you will go to tom nook's stores one of the stores and you'll go in and you'll you'll sell them you'll ask them what the going rate on turnips is and it could be anywhere from what you paid less than what you paid or way more than what you paid now here's the here's the tip and trick that you got to do if you're really going to play the turnip game you have to focus on it because you can lose money very quickly in it and what you need to do is you need to join a discord you need to join a facebook group you need to join a couple of these things and consistently ask people to check their turnip prices some discord groups like like ours will have a section just for 
turn up prices. And the whole gist behind it is you go in and people will list their turn up prices on a daily basis. And what you want to do is if you can find somebody with a really high turn up price, you need to then go sell all your turn ups. Get rid of them. Your turn ups only last seven days anyway. So after that, they go bad. So you need to pay very close attention to what you're doing in the turn up game because, you, like I said, you can lose money very quick, but you can make a lot of money if you do it right. The main thing is, is I try to go in and I'll, I'll start off very slow and low. I might, I might buy the first couple of weeks, you know, 20, 30,000 bells worth of turn ups if I can, and then slowly progress and increase the number as we go further along, hoping to hit that home run. But there's been times where I've taken that risk and I've been hammered where the price is actually way lower than what I paid for them. And then I've had times where I've gotten very lucky and paid, gotten paid way higher than the value that I bought them at. And I mean, you're talking, if done right, you could make potentially millions of bells off of this thing, off of one good week. Um, it's not something that I would put all my eggs in uh, and, and hope that it's going to happen right away. I would just kind of, meh, if it happens, it happens. You know, stay low, stay conservative, but make sure you're on top of it, sell them in every week, and that way you'll be able to make some money when you do have the opportunity. Anything you sell it for, obviously, that's more than what you bought them for is a plus, but you can hit, get lucky one week and really hit a home run if you pay attention and do things properly with it. But for me, overall, the easiest, best way to make money is the fishing game, is the bug game. Those two ways are the foolproof way i mean fossils you're going to collect i typically donate my first fossil that i get anyway that's all the uh, blathers is going to let you donate anyway anything additional you sell but the, the value on the fossils isn't quite anywhere near what a fish could potentially be plus with fish you kind of know what you're getting right away you're getting a big bulk of them with fossils you can only get so many a day and that's it and then you cannot do any more than that so the main way to make money is beetles sharks those are your focal points the other ways, there's additional ways to make money and you can make a lot of money. But if you want to make a steady flow of income and a lot of money each day, beetles, sharks, that's your key. That is all. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please slap the like button down below. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.